friends. I got some swatching to do. I recently-ish met up with some friends for first annual burrito day. One of them was the always lovely Ink Splat Minda Bee, and she brought me samples. So let's swatch them. I'm gonna start with the one that I think is gonna be my favorite because I can. So let's get our supplies going. Mm. I'm working on my lighting. It's a struggle. I don't really have a window to film in front of anymore. So we do what we can. Feedback welcome, but who knows if I'll be able to take any of it into consideration. So as usual, I've got some my swatching supplies. We've got a paint brush, a watercolor brush. Here, I'm gonna get wet first. then that way it's not so thirsty. It doesn't suck up so much of the ink. And I've got my dip pen. We'll see if we need to lighter it again. I don't know if I'll use this. It's an automatic pen and a glass pen that it was never, <laughs> they still haven't fixed. Uh, and I've got some coloring cards and my Hobonichi Weeks. So let's go. I think we're gonna swatch this. Here, hey look, Equinox is tomorrow. Um, in my mind, it's always the 21st. So let us begin. Oh, okay. <laughs> As usual, things are going perfectly. Zoom in. So first up, maybe I'll put you over there. Oh, perfect, already falling off. Good, good. First up is, let's see, Colorverse Dokto. And it looks like, well, it looks like it's gonna come across as a different color than it is. It looks kind of like a shark's teal. How do I do these? I write it at the bottom, right? though. You don't have to love it. It says what it needs to say. Therefore, it's, it's doing what it needs to do. Right? Right. Thanks. I'm glad we could agree on this. Oh, we're all deep dip there. Loving it. I'm going to preemptively, oh gosh, things are going well. Right here. Oh yeah. I don't even want to 
Let's do some scribbles because I feel this so full. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh. Amanda, you're the best. She knows what I like. Mm -hmm. And she, I think when she gave it to me, she said, she gave me two obvious ones and then this one she said because she thought I would like it. <laughs> um, really? Is this happening right now? I see you in there. You can see it too, right? It's there. I'm sure now you'll come out before. Oh my gosh. I might need this ink. <laughs> because I've been looking for a color like this. Like my Perth Carnot Cove, but a little bluer. And I think this might be it. But I'm going to have to compare it. Um, I can't go get my cards right now, though. So I don't know that I'll compare it on the video. We'll see. Uh, beautiful. Okay, no. Wait, wait. We're not even done, Maria. We're not even done. Come on now. Come on now. Let's get it together. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't write up here, Amanda B. Well, I'll do that later with like a pen. <laughs> when I ink this up, because you know I will. Ooh, well, you know what? I'm going to put this in my Twizzly Cerulean. I think it's going to be perfect. For a really full dip, it didn't, it didn't get a lot of, it kind of looks like maybe it doesn't shade a whole lot. You know what it kind of is giving? Uh, Caribic. Who did that? Octopus fluids? I think they Caribic. alive that was chef's kiss right there you couldn't see it but it was real okay I'm worried I didn't clean that well enough so next up can you guys guess guys can y'all I feel like I haven't said you guys in forever who am I can y'all guess what the other two inks are Lamy Blackberry this looks like You can't see the water. Some beautiful stuff happened. Ribbons of color. We'll see if we can. Beautiful. Watch out, Inky Rocks. <laughs> Just kidding. If you don't know Inky Rocks, you should check her out. She does some awesome stuff. Although some people get irritated with her for like wasting entire bottles of ink, but like she's not, she's making art. She's using it as she sees fit, which may not be the same way that you use it.
Sorry, did I just kind of rant a little bit there? That wasn't my intention. So it's an awkward day for me. It's an awkward day at my place, everybody. Happens, you know, happens. Mm -hmm. This feels like it's probably not super lubricated. It's lovely. I was gonna say when I saw the lid that it reminded me a little bit of writer's blood. And I think it does. So, so far, do I like it? Yeah. But wait for the sheen to take over and we'll see if I still do. I like sheen, but I don't like it. We talked about this when it obliterates the base color. And, you know, in the writing, it may not. I think it's going to depend on your nib. So if you look at this where it's like pretty dry, you're still getting that really pretty base color. But if you look at where it was super juicy, I hope you can see this. There's that bronzy, brassy sheen. Well, it's totally coming out there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Really a, a lovely color though. I think what I might do, I don't know if I have time. Someone has a meeting soon. It's not me. Um, and the last one is, uh, I call this one, I can't believe it's not dark lilac. If you know that product to which I reference, I think you'll understand why. This is the new Dark Lilac from Lamy. If you're not aware of why I'm making air quotes and blah, 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 man, there's such a kerfuffle on this that the New York Times featured it. Must have been kind of a slow news day, but still. And they referenced our good friend, Amanda B's video about it. Um, the Teal Deer is that it's the same formula as the 2016 version, but not the same ingredients because I couldn't get it. And thus, not the same color. So, Why the Fuhrer? Because this has got to be the most coveted of Lamy's inks, right? Bottles selling for a lot. Um, people clamoring for it. <gasps> Finally, they're going to get it. Only not really. Now, I suspect that if you have never used the original, this might be good enough. <laughs> Look at the quotes. 
That's right, me and to be up top. Well, I mean, I wrote MB, which could be for Mont Blanc, right? But it's not. Oh no. Oh no. This got on that. <sighs> For shame. For shame. Okay. I'm so happy that she gave me a sample of this. I did consider buying a bottle, even when I knew it wasn't like legit. But I mean, y'all, I have what feels like a lot of ink. So we got 30 inks coming up and I said that I would focus on only inks I have a bottle of. I didn't tell you that, but I told other people that. I think that's true. I mean, it is really pretty down there. Sorry if I did a lot of that off camera. I'm not going to do it again, though. I mean, y'all know that. I tell about my supplies. So I have obviously an Inca pet. I have my automatic pen. There are, and I found two two places in the U.S. that sell it, they both have the same address. So I think it's actually the same place, just doing business as two different names. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then I said coloring, I said Hobonichi. Maybe I did tell you the things. I've got a washcloth over here that's my dedicated ink. I didn't, maybe I didn't talk about my little crab people to hold my stuff. They're the little crab people. They hold things. Oh, there it is. It's taking over and I don't like it. It's so lovely till it dries. <laughs> Maybe you could just like not dry. How about that? Should we try and pick some of this up? So there's Blackberry, which is almost all sheen at this point. And dark lilac before it dries. Oh, hey, how pretty you are. After it dries, green. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't actually ever make a swatch card for the sample of dark lilac that um, Amanda gave me ages ago because like, it's precious. Do you think I'm gonna put any of it on a swatch card? But maybe I should. Maybe this should be the time. I've got all the supplies. No, not going to. If you wanna see what it looks like side by side, Amanda has got you covered. So you can see here in the writing already, well, I hope you can see the green that is taking over. Maybe I can see it. You can see it here. Our swatch of blackberry. 
pretty, but again, so much bronze. Color verse Dokto. This is so much greener than it looks on the screen, but still teal. And here's the Hobonichi. I'm gonna um, pause real quick and grab some samples. I mean swatches. Okay, we're back. Um, these are all my bottled inks. It feels like a lot. So, what did I think it reminded me? We want to compare to Perth Kernel Cove. Oh, it remind. I said it reminded me of Rider's Blood. Mm, a little, but it's purpler. Sorry, more purpler. Here's Trey Calori Gold Sheen Violet. Uh, I'm gonna argue that's green sheen. This is pretty similar. This has a little more purple in it. This is deeper. Mysterium. You know, to my eye, this Mysterium looks like a pretty good, if you like the base color without the sheen. It's a, but I don't know. The Poussière de Lune, not completely dissimilar from Blackberry. Pillars of Creation, pretty similar, different color sheen. And if we look at it compared to this, um, same sheen, but the base color is not the same. Gummy Berry by KWZ is more purple. Platinum Purple is more purple. Mombado's Hat, it's a bluer color. Similar. Van Diemen's Purple Starfish. I think this is the back of the card. Maybe not. Like, the swatch is weird and flat, isn't it? Anyway, that's definitely more purple. And let's see. No. Scribo Noturno Viola. Purpler. Purpler is a fun thing to say. Next time you're like having a day, just try and say purpler. So here's, <laughs> these three inks that I swear are not identical compared to Docto. So you can see these are all bluer. Here. And here's Perth Kernel Cove. They're similar. The writing is not as similar though. You can see like the per pure pens is lighter and this is ever so slightly bluer. So, oh, you know what I noticed? Look, I missed, I wrote Aquamine instead of Aquamarine. So I had to fix that one. I was irritated with myself. How about compared to Aurora Borealis here? This is more of a tone. You can see it's like a grayer version of it. And maybe, no, Wayfarer is bluer. So I remember really liking Parrotfish. Just from my first ever ink flight. Similar, this is lighter, but pretty similar. And then, I'm not gonna look through all of these. Let's see if we can find Katabik. Oh. 
Well, here, let's do this. Keller vs. Alpha Virgo. Lovely. I think you could get either one of these and be happy. I don't know if I would need both, <laughs> except for that it is like a favorite of a shade of mine, so. Am I wrong about if I get this color? I must be, who did? Wait. I lied. I'm not. It's just so. Here's Octopus Fluid's Cutty Beak, and here's Colorverse Dokdo. These are very similar. This one shades more, probably. I like what's happening on the card, but I'm rambling now. This is going on too long, isn't it? And she shows no signs of stopping. Um, okay, no, we're gonna be done. So, Big thanks to my sponsor, Manda B. Without her, this couldn't happen. Just kidding, I'm not sponsored. Um, let's look at these dried cards again. So here's Dokdo, which I'm probably going to go buy a bottle of. Blackberry. There's a lot of sheen on this. How did I get it to show? see it on the I don't know if you're seeing it but there's a ton I can't believe it's not dark lilac the green was showing up for a second I saw it Let's see if we can get it I stood up so that I can oh there You can see the sheen. And now these are dried. What did you get a green ink? Nope. That's I can't believe it's not dark lilac right there. Blackberry and go. Oh. Again, this is showing up as far more blue. Um it's not really that blue. In the writing, there's all that green, blackberry. So here we are. Uh, I'm curious what your favorites are, if you want any of them, if you have opinions on the um, Dark Lilac Gate 2024. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care of yourselves. Bye.